In today's video, I'm going to give you a Google Sites tutorial for beginners. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing, and let's get right into it. Begin by opening your preferred web browser and navigating to the Google Sites homepage. You can do this by typing Google Sites into your search engine, or by directly entering sites at google.com into the address bar. Once you're on the Google Sites page, you'll see a clean and user-friendly interface designed to help you create your website with ease. Next, locate the Sign In button, which is typically found in the upper right-hand corner of the page. Click on this button to proceed to the login screen. If you already have a Google account, enter your email address in the designated field and click Next. If prompted, enter your password and then click Enter to access your account. If you don't have a Google account, you'll need to create one by following the on-screen instructions before you can use Google Sites. After successfully signing in, you'll be greeted by the main dashboard of Google Sites. At the top of this page, you'll notice a prominent main menu that provides quick shortcuts to various Google apps. This menu is designed to streamline your workflow by giving you easy access to tools you might frequently use, such as Sites, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, Settings, Feedback, Help, and Drive. Familiarizing yourself with this menu can significantly enhance your productivity as you navigate through different Google services. Directly beneath the main menu, you'll find a search bar prominently displayed. This feature allows you to quickly search for any of your existing sites, making it easier to locate and manage your projects without having to scroll through a long list. The search functionality is particularly useful if you manage multiple websites or if you're collaborating with others on various projects. Moving to the top right corner of the page, you'll observe the Google Apps menu and your profile icon. The Google Apps menu provides access to a wide range of Google services beyond the primary shortcuts available in the main menu. Clicking on this menu will reveal additional tools and applications that can be integrated into your workflow. Your profile icon, on the other hand, offers options related to your account settings, such as managing your personal information, accessing account security settings, and switching between different Google accounts if you have multiple. At the center of the dashboard, you'll see options to create a new blank site or to choose from a variety of templates. This central placement ensures that creating a new site is straightforward and easily accessible. If you're just starting out, selecting a blank site gives you the freedom to design your website from scratch, tailoring it precisely to your needs. Alternatively, if you prefer a more guided approach, you can choose from the available templates, which provide pre-designed layouts and structures to help you get started quickly. To explore the templates further, click on the template gallery option. This gallery showcases a diverse range of templates categorized by different themes and purposes, such as business, personal, portfolios, and more. Selecting a template from the gallery can save you time and effort as it provides a professional layout that you can customize to fit your specific requirements. Browsing through the gallery also allows you to get inspiration for your site's design and functionality. Below the template gallery, you'll find an access point to your recent sites. This section displays a list of all the sites you've recently worked on, providing a convenient way to revisit and edit your ongoing projects. Whether you're making updates, adding new content or reviewing changes, having your recent sites readily accessible ensures that you can efficiently manage your work without unnecessary navigation. In addition to recent sites, there are filtering options available that allow you to sort and organize your projects based on various criteria. You can filter by the owner of the site, switch between different view modes such as list view, and sort your sites based on date modified or other parameters. There is also an option to open the file picker, which lets you browse through your Google Drive files and integrate them into your site seamlessly. Utilizing these filtering tools can help you maintain an organized workspace, especially if you manage multiple websites or collaborate with a team. When you're ready to create a new site, simply click on the blank site option. This action will open a new window where you can begin designing your website from the ground up. Starting with a blank site provides you with complete creative control, allowing you to customize every aspect of your website's layout, design, and functionality to match your vision. Once your blank site is created, you'll notice that the top ribbon of the interface prominently displays your site's name. This feature serves as both a label and a tool for easy identification, especially if you're working on multiple sites simultaneously. The site name is editable, allowing you to change it at any time. Any modifications you make to the site name are automatically saved, ensuring that your changes are preserved without needing to manually save them. 
On the top right corner of the interface, you'll find several useful tools designed to enhance your editing experience. The undo and redo buttons allow you to easily reverse or reinstate any recent changes you've made, providing flexibility as you experiment with different design elements. The preview option lets you see how your site will appear to visitors, helping you identify and fix any issues before publishing. Additionally, there's the copy site link feature, which generates a shareable link to your website, making it easy to distribute to others. Further expanding your options, you can click on the three dot menu located next to the primary tools. This menu reveals additional functionalities such as publish, which allows you to make your site live for the world to see, and manage your account, where you can access more detailed settings related to your Google account and site management. These options ensure that you have comprehensive control over your site's deployment and your account preferences. Now that your site is set up, it's time to add content. Begin by focusing on the right panel of the interface, where you'll find a suite of features dedicated to site editing. This panel is divided into three main tabs, Insert, Pages, and Themes. Each tab offers different tools and options to help you customize and enhance your website. Starting with the Insert tab, clicking on it will display a variety of elements you can add to your site. These elements include text boxes, which allow you to add written content, images which can be uploaded from your device or selected from your Google Drive, embed options for incorporating external content, and drive integration for seamlessly adding documents, spreadsheets, presentations and more from your Google Drive directly into your site. In addition to these basic elements, the Insert tab also provides access to content blocks. These include features such as Gallery View, which lets you display a collection of images in an organized grid, collapsible groups which allow you to hide or reveal content sections for a cleaner layout, and a table of contents which automatically generates a navigational structure based on your page headings. These content blocks are designed to enhance the functionality and aesthetics of your site, making it more engaging for your visitors. Beyond content blocks, you have the option to incorporate elements like image carousels, which showcase multiple images in a rotating display, buttons which can be customized to link to other pages or external websites, dividers which help to separate different sections of your site for better organization, spaces which add empty space to your layout for a more balanced design, social links which connect your site to your social media profiles, and placeholders which serve as temporary content holders that you can replace with your own information later. These tools provide a wide range of customization options, allowing you to tailor your site's appearance and functionality to your specific needs. Furthermore, the Insert tab allows you to add interactive and dynamic content such as YouTube videos, calendars, maps, docs, slides, sheets, forms and charts. Embedding a YouTube video can make your site more engaging by providing visual content that complements your written information. Adding a calendar can help you share important dates and events with your audience, while a map can provide location details for your business or organization. Integrating docs, slides, sheets, forms, and charts enables you to present detailed information, conduct surveys, collect feedback, and display data in a visually appealing manner. Switching to the Pages tab, you'll be able to view and manage all the pages that make up your website. This section allows you to add new pages, rename existing ones, and organize them into a hierarchical structure if needed. Managing your pages effectively ensures that your site remains well organized and easy to navigate for your visitors. You can also set up navigation menus and links between pages to create a seamless browsing experience. The Themes tab is where you can access and customize the visual appearance of your site. Here, you can browse through a variety of themes that offer different color schemes, fonts, and design elements. Selecting a theme that aligns with your brand or personal style can instantly give your site a professional and cohesive look. Additionally, if you have specific design preferences, you have the option to customize your theme further by adjusting font styles, colors, and other visual elements. For those who want a completely unique look, you can even upload a custom theme to match your exact specifications. As you continue to build and refine your site, remember to regularly preview your changes to ensure that everything appears as intended. The preview feature is invaluable for catching any layout issues or inconsistencies before you publish your site. Once you're satisfied with the design and functionality, you can proceed to publish your site, making it accessible to your intended audience. Throughout the creation process, take advantage of the various tools and options available to tailor your site to your specific needs. 
Whether you're building a personal blog, a business website, or a portfolio, Google Sites provides the flexibility and resources necessary to create a professional and engaging online presence. By following these steps and utilizing the features outlined, you'll be well equipped to design a website that effectively communicates your message and meets your objectives.